Mike, can you tell us when you started Boys to Men? Boys to Men. Uh, your uh, advocacy group. Your oh, the political party. party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, should we start again? It's called Justice for Men and Boys. Oh, okay, yes. Uh, can you tell us when you started that? Yes, I started it um, almost five years ago now. It was at the time, and it remains to this day the only political party in the uh, English-speaking world that campaigns for the human rights of men and boys. It does seem like a lot of your arguments are anti-feminist. What exactly are these feminazis doing to oppress men? I think, I think they're, they're, they're doing a huge amount. Feminists have made life so much worse for men. So, for example, if you take domestic violence, it's been known for a very long time now that the number of victims of domestic violence, male victims, are similar to the number of female victims. Um, it's been the known, same it's, amount? It's, it's been known for decades. Um, but, but, but the government acts as if, as if there's no such thing as male victims of domestic violence. Hold up. Well, hang on a second there, Mike. According to the Office for National Statistics, there are an estimated 4.3 million female victims of domestic abuse, a whole 2.1 million more than male victims. But I'm just a woman, so what would I know? I mean, you're, you're clearly a feminist. You wouldn't get work at the BBC otherwise. Your main presenter is a mangina. Uh, a mangina? A male feminist. Oh. Does Nish have a vagina? No, a mangina. He is a mangina. OK, so Nish is a vagina. No, he's a mangina. I it, it's, it's, um, you know, it's, it's what anti-feminists tend to call, uh, you know, male feminists. Is there such a thing as white male privilege? The, the idea that in 2018 in Britain that, that being a white male gives you any privilege, I think, is, is just nonsensical. I mean, I started in the business world in 1979. And the idea, even then, that you would discriminate against, let's say, black people or women in recruitment or promotion terms, it, it, was, it would have been ridiculous then, 40 years ago. Hold up. Well, it might sound ridiculous to Mike, but figures taken from the General Household Survey and the Labour Force Survey show that in the UK, black African men were nearly twice as likely to be unemployed as white men during the 1980s. And it wasn't until 1985 that the Equal Pay Act was amended to allow women to be paid the same as men for the same work, something that is still being debated in 2018. But yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous, Mike. Do you think that the Me Too movement and uh, male discrimination has made it harder for men to wolf whistle at a woman? Of course it has, and there's, there's a lot of women that, um, <laughs> that, that, that find that quite sad. To present it as anything other than as a sign of appreciation, I, mean, I think it's just ludicrous. So, like, when I was back home in New York and that guy was like, damn, you got some fat titties, I should feel good about that. Yeah. I, I think m most, most of this is just absolute nonsense. It's about angry women trying to destroy men. Yeah, a lot of real angry bitches out there. Well, that's not the terminology we'd use, but, uh, yeah.